It's been a couple Okay, bye. One time I got a sample from the tea store at the mall, and as I walked away, the guy said, See you later! And then his co-worker smacked him. Was... Was he wearing a blue polo shirt and glasses by any chance? And was the co-worker that smacked him wearing a tie and glasses? <gasps> oh, this is fun. I had a dream last night that they made a new Bond movie, but they didn't say who was playing Bond. Throughout the movie, you had no idea which character is really Bond because he's undercover, duh. And every single character, no matter how minor, was played by somebody famous. So they could all conceivably be Bond. And at the end, it turns out Bond was Leslie Jones. <sighs> 10 out of 10 greatest spy movie of all the time. Take my money! If people are really going to assume that guys with long hair are gay and girls with short hair are lesbians, then I'm going to assume that all bald men are actually eagles. I knew it. Something about my dad just wasn't adding up. Sokka was the only kid in that show with social skills and a brain, and he effortlessly charmed every single person he met. Especially royalty, no matter the age or nation. This is why the writers had to nerf him and make him a non-bender. Cause if he could have been anything, the show would have been called Sokka and his good pal the Avatar, and its main conflicts would all have been resolved by the third episode, Tops. I would actually love to watch that show. Would you like a tall glass of juice that makes you stop procrastinating? Yeah, just leave it on the table for me. I'll get some in a minute. Why are mad scientists always associated with chemistry? Like a dude hysterically laughing because his test tube turned purple? What about psychologists? Or anonymists? Or just plain doctors in the good old 19th century? If you know anything about their history, you know they're the mad ones. If anyone has the capacity to turn mad, it's mathematicians. Just nobody notices because it's pretty hard to turn that into super villainy. Okay, but evil math nerd who uses math for evil is something I want to see. DIY culture. I made it myself for free. Free equals three hours, profanity in four languages, one smash thumb, and three milliliters of blood. And fifty dollars, or euros, or pounds, you're pretending cost you nothing because you got them so long ago you moved house with them four times. Wow, and here I thought call-out culture was dead. There is no lie here. Still cheaper than therapy! When you die and you become a ghost, are you forced to wear what you were wearing when you died for eternity, or can you go to, like, Ghost Gap and buy some new ghost clothes? If there's ghost capitalism, I swear to fuck, I'll be so mad. Overthrow the bourgeoisie. Behold, Harry Potter, the Chamber of Seacrest. I... I hate it so much. How does Mike Wazal... Uh, Wazal... 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 Wazalski... Keep stuff out of his eye, he doesn't even have eyelashes. Your Ancestry.Science results are in! 1% Blessed Sasquatch Bloodline, 2% Cryo Etruscan, 5% Florida, 6% Forsaken Sasquatch Bloodline, 7% Scientologist, 10% Wizard's Apprentice, 19% French, and 50% White. Our serious condolences. I don't know, man, that 10% Wizard's Apprentice sounds pretty fucking good right now. What is She-Ra? I'm sorry if this is a stupid question or something, I'm just super confused and we don't have Netflix. Soldier discovers magic sword and fights with the power of gay! I love it. Foolish. Indeed foolish. You have fallen victim to the old razzle-dazzle. Fuck algebra, I don't need it, just give me a dead body and I'll figure it out from there. <clears throat> I feel I should clarify I am a mortuary science major. Oh, okay. One time my dad gave me a glass of milk and I meant to ask him, whose milk is this? Because I wasn't sure if it was for me or if I was supposed to give it to my brother, but instead I just stared down at the milk and said, who's this? Then my dad turned to me without missing a beat and said, well, that's your new friend, Mr. Milk. And we just stared at each other. And then he asked me if I was high. To this day, I still have not lived it down. Adult politicians, you know teenagers shouldn't vote because the part of their brain that deals with prioritizing long-term goals over immediate satisfaction isn't fully developed. Teenagers, can you please stop destroying the planet? Adult politicians, but the planet won't be unlivable for decades and I want oil money now! Writing prompt, you realized you misheard your daughter. There's actually a mobster under your bed. Hey, bada bing bada boom, I'm sleeping here! Turns on nightlight. Hey, pally, what's the big idea? <laughs> apparently looking around the room, voice from under bed. Forget about it, I'm fucking sleeping here. What are you gonna do? You gonna kick me out of this bed? I don't fucking think so, I will throw hands! You know, PM, in your last video, with the Demastered Argonian, 
you had the chance to say the horns say delight, but the eyes say delete, and you missed it. F Crystals for banishing someone. Any of them if you throw them hard enough. Here's where I hear. Here's here's my banishing rack. Probably bad RPG ideas. D&D, but the DM has a soundboard that contains the laugh, cheers, and boos of a sitcom's live studio audience. OP? Change your URL. Oh my god. Shiny Rusheram should have been black and Shiny Zekrom should have been white. Oh, now this is what I'm talking about. Look at that, that's so much better. Look at our ass biscuits. Oh, so they're buns. Oh my god! Today I learned the temperature in Fahrenheit can be approximated by counting the number of times a cricket chirps in 14 seconds and adding 40. This fact alone makes Fahrenheit better than Celsius. Does it though? Full Metal Alchemist alternative universe where everything's the same except Ed makes up stupid stories as to why he lost his arm and leg and they're different stories every time someone asks. Examples. I got attacked by a shark. I stubbed my toe and decided I didn't want any more. I went through a steampunk face. Sheep are vicious when they're hungry. Squirrels. You have an auto male arm and leg. You... You've committed the old- Did you know horses are omnivorous? You'd think that they just eat grass and weeds, but that's what they want you to think. Team Rocket? The ultimate symbol of solidarity between a gay man and a lesbian. What? In God's name is Meowth wearing. It's called fashion, you moron! Ah, uh, time sure flies when you're... When you... You just... This is how having executive dysfunction feels. Goad, what motivates you to do anything you do? An overwhelming compulsion to poke a life with a metaphoric stick just to see what the fuck will happen. That's a, that's a mode. That's a mode. Your path seems to mirror your father's. Link has a dad? Who is he? Lonk. The legend of Lonk. Dad's adventure. Okay, but seriously, uh, Link has a dad? Is he also a Link? Is he one of the Links? Uh, I need these answers! Today I learned that in 1847, a doctor performed an amputation in 25 seconds, operating so quickly that he accidentally amputated his assistant's fingers as well. Both later died of sepsis, and a spectator reportedly died of shock, resulting in the only known procedure with a 300% mortality rate. Nice job, idiot. Surgery Saga 1847. Malpractice ending speed run. 25 seconds. Stop scrolling. Bet you've never seen a baby toucan. The blessed toucan. Half a can. One can. Okay, but seriously, that's babies. Hands down, this is my favorite picture ever. <gasps> the ancient cry has been answered. Can has. This made me fucking angry. I have to inflict that on all of you. Wait, what's the punchline here? Wait. <laughs> Regarding last post, that, that's not that one, a different one, one that didn't come with this submission. But anyway, regarding the last post that's not here, the article mentions the same places use clams to test the toxicity of the water. It's like that in Warsaw. We get our water from the river, and the main water pump has eight clams that have triggers attached to their shells. If the water gets too toxic, they close, and the trigger shuts off the city water supply automatically. The clams are just better at measuring water quality than any man-made sensors. God bless our troops. They hot glued a spring to a clam and gave it full control over the water supply. You know, Warsaw things. Okay, so I noticed this last night and it's the most adorable thing. First picture is what you see in game. You never really see the underbelly of your Pokemon, but Aaron's tiny smile is the cutest thing. Look at that. Ah, oh, yes, the five love languages. Touch starved. My parents never told me they're proud of me. I love stuff. I'm so fucking tired. Please, God, just let me rest for five minutes. And hey, pay attention to me. All of these are cat. We could shorten big mood to bemood, but you all aren't ready. Booed. Oh, fuck. It was I who was not ready. Today I learned plants make caffeine to defend themselves against pests. Caffeine is toxic to birds, dogs, cats, and it has a pronounced adverse effect on mollusks, various insects, and spiders. Coffee plant evolves caffeine. <sighs> Safe at last. Humans. <laughs> Peppers. Now that I have capsaicin, no mammal will eat me. Only birds. The birds will spread my seeds. Humans. Oh my, this burns so good. What? Why are we like this? The fact that we can't drink seawater, even though it's the most common type of water, just because it's 3% salt, yet we can safely consume multiple forms of literal poison and even benefit from doing so just blows my fucking mind. Tobacco. Finally, I can grow in peace. No more insects munching on my leaves. 
humans holding matches. My, my. What do we have here? Poppies. At last! I have evolved my sap to the point where anything that eats me will sleep forever. Humans were about to invent painkillers. Hey, guess what? Mint! Stay off me, bugs, or I'll poison you! Humans, yeah, I'm just gonna put this poison in my dessert and mix it with chocolate. God, no wonder why aliens don't want to hang out with us. PM, I'm begging you to make an OC with the dad bod. I am begging you, please, I need to see the dad bod OC! Oh, you fool. I am the dad bod OC! Everyone in Gotham always wants to know who Batman is, but they never know how he is. He's a grown man dressed as a bat. They know. I swear these were ghosts written by Bruce and Alfred in that order. Today in school, I was walking down the hallway to go to the bathroom, and some dude walked out of a classroom and tripped me by accident. And I was thinking about Thor too, so I just blurted out, How dare you attack the son of Odin! And he just looked at me, and looked down at his shirt, and it was an Avengers shirt. I think I just made a friend, guys. I ship it! Today I learned human babies are 80% water at birth a slightly higher water content than bananas, and slightly less than fresh potatoes. Oh, once again shown up by the power and dignity of the root vegetable. Loud noises when you have sensory processing issues is like Russian roulette. Maybe nothing will happen. Maybe you'll spend the next hour sitting in the corner. It's a toss-up. Explain, you elders blob. Sometimes a loud noise breaks the goat. Sometimes a loud noise breaks any body systems for the next 30 minutes or so. Door bangs. Nothing. Loud beep. Spends next 30 minutes sobbing uncontrollably. Moots. I just found out moose can dive as deep as 20 feet. Or six meters for you people outside of the U.S. For aquatic vegetation. Can you imagine, like, being a diver and you're 20 feet or six meters underwater, it's murky, and you run into a moose? A moose? This is, by the way, one of the reasons that a regular predator of the moose is the orca whale. I'm sorry. Hang on. Let me read that one more time. This is, by the way, one of the reasons that a regular predator of the moose is the orca whale. What? Today I learned, despite its association with the supernatural, a full moon rarely occurs on Halloween. The next time this will happen is Halloween night of 2020. Guys, 2020 might get good! It's gonna be spookier times! Time to gaze into the abyss. The abyss is what I call my inbox. Wait, oh no! Jesus, how many today I learned? Today I learned in 2002, a researcher found that the average eight-year-old British child could identify 80% of Pokemon, but only 50% of common wildlife species. Well, common wildlife species don't normally yell their names at you. Wouldn't that be great though? You're just going outside, going on a nice walk, and suddenly you hear, Squirrel, 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 squirrel! Writing prompt. You, a time traveler, accidentally introduced 21st century slang to Shakespeare. For never was a story of more woe. Oh, bard Alexa, playeth us despacito. Animal Crossing villagers be like, You're my bestest friend in the whole world. Thank you for being so awesome. Here's a present for you. Then the present is an 8,750 watt gas powered generator. Yeah, I'm crossing things. Human, human, do something! For God's sakes, help! These are not mine! Chicken nuggets are wrapped, meat wrapped in bread. <sighs> you know, I was having a good day. I think we were all having a great day! Until this. Standing next to sunflowers always makes me feel weak. Like, look at this fucking flower. This flower's taller than me. This flower's winning and I'm losing. Wow, you are not ready to hear about trees. Open up here! Hey, can I get some seven large Cokes and a barbecue sauce? Is Pepsi okay? I guess. I said sulking, my amber-hued orbs peering down because of gravity. Okay, I hand you seven large Cokes and a Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the shit that gets me every time. I love it. Childish Gambito concert was canceled. There goes my weekend plans. You know, Pucky, you could barf. You know fucking what? I could. WTF is an acronym. This post pisses me off. I still can't decide if this is a statement or a question. Time to call Otto's moist boys. No, please do not call them that. Well, he is a very moist boy. He even looks offended at you calling him a moist boy. 
I have a concept. Thigh high Crocs. Concept. No. Too late. I have made them. I feel like if you put those on, they're just part of you forever because of the suction. Turns out Marco didn't really die. He actually skipped town in the heat of battle and achieved the secret dream of opening up a pizzeria two minutes away from my house. So, um, <laughs> oh, the pizza's half off. I was once again having a great day until this. Why on earth has anyone invented a less terrifying way to open biscuits and cinnamon rolls? Because squishing that much biscuit into that little space teeters on the edge of hubris. The pop is to keep us humble, to remind us that death comes for all. Yeah, man, I just wanted some biscuits. Oh, fucking existential crisis, Jesus. And finally, writing prompt. Write. No! Persona games usually consist of the Chad, the idiot, the dumb one with common sense, the intelligent one, the loud one, the quiet one, and the mascot. Usually, most of them fall into these categories and proceed to give hijinks, such as in Persona 4, when Yosuke stated his need to pee in the most eloquent way possible. All of this to say, Persona 5 is real good, and the characters are ripe for hijinks, and also Persona 5 added a new party member, the adult, aka the only responsible party member. Concept. Sirius convinces the Marauders to do a family portrait in their animagus forms. Except for Ramus, obviously. So Ramus is the one human who has to go into the photographer and ask for the picture. Ramus is a mixture of embarrassed, exasperated, and amused. Hello, yes, I'd like to take a picture with my, uh, pets. And this photographer is just astounded that Ramus has these very manageable and obedient pets. And in all fairness, it's a very good picture. I just want Harry Potter to resurface again to give me this photo. I'm sure there's drawings, but I want an actual photo of the actor of Ramus and a bunch of animals just doing this. Day 77. No one suspects a thing. You know, I was so focused on the dog sitting patiently in the back that I didn't even realize. Wait, what are you talking about? I don't, I don't see anything. Marvel, where's my 10 minute video of Thor teaching Earth etiquette to the Asgardians? This is a dog. <gasps> no, you cannot ride it. It is too small. Oh, man. Aperture Laboratories. Dihydrogen monoxide containment unit. May cause diaphoresis, micturition, and acute tissue hydration. May cause sweating, peeing, and adequate hydration. It's a water bottle! I want! Imagine a rat using an AirPod as a cane. Imagine that. Well, now I'm thinking about it. I drew it. I took a photo! The number 87 kind of looks like a plague doctor. <gasps> you just changed the fucking game! Mm-hmm. You ever have to shake your leg because there's a rock in it? Uh, that's your bones. Wow. Every day I learn some more. A young artist exhibits his work for the first time, and a well-known art critic is in the attendance. The critic says to the young artist, Would you like my opinion of your work? Yes, says the artist. It's worthless, says the critic. The artist replies, I know, but tell me anyway. Oh! Oh! Get them done! Me falling asleep to an audiobook on the science of the gut. Book. Saliva is actually filtered blood. I'm sorry. Saliva also contains a painkiller that is stronger than morphine, but we don't produce it a lot, otherwise we'd be constantly high. I'm sorry, what? Ah, uh, yes. Orpiorphine is six times stronger than morphine. It actually contains an antidepressant compound, which is why some doctors believed it's linked to comfort eating. Okay. Everyone spit on me so I won't be depressed. Mm. No. An 80s sitcom with a laugh track, but the laugh track comes from behind you. Thanks, how do I uninstall it? It uninstalls you. Postcards of the hanging is now deactivated. I warned you. The laugh track plays. But now one voice louder. Can we make a creepypasta on this, please? What would be your effect as a mud potion be? With sticks and cool rocks and leaves, of course. And any good mud potion has. Venom symbiote, but no actual powers. I just cling to your back and whisper shit posts into your ear. And when you try to concentrate on a test, I keep screaming wrong answers. It's 41! Ah, uh, five minutes ago, they were chasing the laser. <gasps> I can't believe you killed your cats with a laser. You fucking monster! Jasper is making the weirdest fucking noise. He sounds like an angry garbage disposal. Um, excuse me. Rebecca Sugar herself said all the gems use female pronouns. Just a note. Just a fun fact. <clears throat> Jasper is my cat. 
Aesthetic, the three-headed rat queen from the Russian Nutcracker movie and her three-headed rat son. Oh, don't ever talk to me or me or me or my son or my son or my son again. Fresh out of the water, newborn sea lion pups roll in sand to protect themselves from the blazing sun and San Cristobal, Galapagos Islands. Ah, oh, look at the little sea sugar cookies. A lot to hug them. Do Japanese people prefer dubbed American cartoons? Ego wa jozo desu. Nihonji wa... We've come full circle. Fun fact, apparently there is a serious debate in Japan as to whether the King of the Hills sub or dub is better. You know, this is something I never knew I was waiting my whole life to read. You know what? Screw death. I know, it's so sexy. Oh, spank me harder, Grim Reaper Daddy. This is so cursed, I bet even PM Seymour won't even touch it. Oh, PM Seymour. Someone sent him an ask or something, I don't know. Hey. If God wishes it. So shall it be. Ya yeah, boy! On a scale of one to Nature Valley granola bar, how much is your life falling apart? I can't stop laughing at this. Nobody came to his birthday party. Shut up, okay? This made me really freaking sad. Look how sweet and cute he looks, the poor baby. I don't even know this snake and I feel guilty for not being there. Save, this is stuff out of my worst fears. You've heard of bread bowl. Now get ready for bread plate. Tortilla. Blocked! There is a vast amount of vampire lore globally. Exploit the fact no one is gonna look it all up to make the vampire masquerade LARPers look stupid. Yeah, if you're a vampire, you have to scream every fifth word and slap yourself in the face every time you see yellow. It's from medieval German lore, I think. Today I learn in one 13th century version of the King Arthur myth, Merlin is the spawn of a demon and a mortal woman and was intended by Satan to be the Antichrist but was baptized by a priest shortly after birth, which nullified Satan's plan, and now uses his demonic powers of magic and prophecy for good. Satan, losing since 33 AD. Ah, the Hellboy prototype. I like it when cats settle down and it looks like they don't have any limbs. Ah, oh, they're slugs. And if you ever wondered what they look like from underneath when doing that, <gasps> this is important. I'm not much a romantic, but I do find it pretty great when couples share charges so much that they lose track of whose was originally whose. That's adorable, but if anyone so much touches my six foot long charger with intentions other than pass it to me, they will be dead. So romantic. When you are president, what will you do to better our country? Two words. More coal mines. Aren't those four? Oh my bad, you're right. Me at 3 a.m. I should probably get some sleep, my brain. <laughs> How five and chew to feel burgers, guys, fries. How five and chew to feel burgers, guys, fries. It, it's relatable. Weird thing about Kirby is that Nintendo could make a game about anything with Kirby in it, and I still wouldn't be mad. Kirby is just good. Like, if there was a game about Kirby doing his taxes, I would play it. And even if it's bad, because how could you be mad at Kirby? Look at him. Kirby doing his taxes, ready to eat for everyone. Dodge those taxes. But don't. This seems obvious, but there's a lot of blogs that are just one uber not safe for work pictures of hot men alongside two cute dog pics. I don't know what to call this niche. Somebody, somebody come up with a pun. Hmm. Da! Ah! Cocker Spaniel. There it is! A moment of silence for the Cocker Spaniel blogs. You'll be missed. Okay, if Ring Around the Rosie is a nursery rhyme about the bubonic plague, then I say we get to work on a COVID-19 nursery rhyme for kids to creepily sing for generations to come. We will call it Six Feet from Grandma's House. On the surface, it's about visiting Grandma, but, <laughs> you know. Daddy's at the food store, Mommy's out of town. She's working at the hospital since Rona came to town. Hide away, hide away, Miss Rona's come to town. Hide away, hide away, she'll come to take us down. Miss Rona's at the doorstep, I'll keep six feet away. But Grandma needs the paper, I'll take her some today. Hide away, hide away, Miss Rona's come to stay. Hide away, hide away, I'll keep six feet away. But Grandma needs the paper, I'll take her some today. And here's a note from Rona, she wanted me to say. Hide away, hide away, keep six feet away. Hide away, hide away. She's brought us down today. Who else is feeling morbid today? I am. They're called restaurants because they restore you to full health. Boo, five out of ten pun. But 
they write, look, early 19th century from French, provide food for, literally, restore to former state. Oh, shit, I fucked up. Intentional misspellings and unusual handling of words is one of my favorite minor memes. To be honest, I love it so much. Here are some of my all-time favorites. Replacing CK with CC, in example, suck, and <laughs> replacing T with D, and vice versa, in example, goddamn, shit, blockhead. Just every kind of weird variation you could do with the word fuck, in example, the fuckening, or fucky. Weird jumbling of curse words that somewhat resemble something coherent, in example, motherfuck of shit, and shut the hell your mouth. Replacing a vowel in a word with another, in example, oig. What? Why have you analyzed this? I don't really remember the exact mindset I was in when I wrote this, but it was probably something like, mm, <laughs> English language, cool. Thanks to Duolingo, I can ask people if they're a horse, but I can't tell people what my name is in French. Ask me, I'm a fucking horse, I dare you. Tu es un cheval? Nay. Oh, you motherfucker! Here's a short list of how Ben and Jerry are actually the same person. Easily flustered slash startled, married to hot blonde, their wives are amazing and too good for them, have three children, actual human disasters, and bisexual. I did not realize this was about the men from Parks and Rec. I thought you were talking about the ice cream men. Hey! Why not both? It's a good, reliable car, but it curls into a ball when startled, so watch out. This baby can- <laughs> <laughs>